Hey everyone, it's Justine and today I have another new video tutorial for you that I'm very excited about. I'm going to be using this Doodle Garden background stamp from Catherine Pooler Designs from her new Zen Garden release. And I'm going to be stamping it using some Versamark ink onto three pieces of colored cardstock. I'm going to be using Lipstick Red by Gina K Designs, Audrey Blue by Simon Says Stamp, and Apple Mint from Gina K Designs. I just grabbed a couple of random colors that I thought would coordinate really nicely together when they're all put together. So I went ahead and went and did some embossing. So all I'm doing is adding some white embossing powder on top of my cardstock using a Tonic Nouveau spoon. I'm going to do my best to spread the embossing powder evenly over the top of the surface and I'm just flicking my cardstock to get any excess embossing powder off. I'm going now in with my heat tool and I'm embossing it so it becomes solid and it melts to the cardstock. That way it'll become an emboss re resist. So I love the way that the white turned out on top of this colored cardstock. Next up I'm going to be using this cover plate which is a stained glass cover plate by Catherine Pooler and I'm going to cut out three white panels that measure four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I'm going to die cut all three of these first and I'm going to just need the frames out of them actually, but I do recommend doing those first. I did them in a different order when I was creating this, videos, this video and it ended up making a lot more work. So I'm just going to tell you the order that I would have done it in if I knew exactly what I was creating at the time. Now once I have this cover plate all finished, I'm going to be using a card base here and mounting the frame on top of the card base. In the meantime, I went ahead and I cut the lipstick red panel using the stained glass cover plate as well. And I kept all of the little pieces in the cover plate itself so that I know exactly where they need to go. It's just a reverse mirror image. So I'm going to grab some of these little pieces and using some micro tip tweezers really helps with this in my opinion. It helped me take them out as well as place them accordingly onto the cardstock. So you'll notice I'm using some Tombow Mono liquid glue and I am putting some of the glue in a few of the areas and then just going ahead and laying down the little colored panels in between. I'll show you the end result of that when it's all finished. But I took the pink frame that also was cut with the cover plate. So this is the negative space or the positive space depending how you look at it. I just glued down the negative space so this would be the positive space. And I'm gluing this down onto a piece of cardstock to use for later as well. So there's really no waste in it. And I'm using a block to add some weight to it so that the glue really adheres to the front of the card. Now in the same fashion, I've already glued down several of the blue pieces onto this piece of cardstock. So once again, I did the exact same thing. I went in and I glued a whole bunch of the blue ones and I kept it all in that die cut panel there. And then I went ahead and I added some of the pink pieces here as well to get a couple of contrasting colors. Now this is definitely something that takes time and patience. It takes a little while to get used to the tweezers, placing things in in little spaces, and also to get the mirror image right so you know exactly where to glue everything. It's definitely something I would do when you have a relaxing afternoon in front of the TV watching some programs or whatever. So you can see how beautiful these frames are that have been cut out using this cover plate. And I'm going to go ahead now and just try a different pattern with the green one. So I went ahead and I cut the green one just like I did before. And this time I'm actually just going to do that inner circle. So you'll see a nice large circle on the inside of the card. And I thought it would be really cool if I filled those up with the green pieces just to kind of get a really pretty frame. So for time purposes and so that you're not sitting here watching me glue this whole time, I'm just speeding you up and I'm going to be skipping ahead to different areas, but you'll get the picture. I'm just going around that circle frame there over and over again until I'm finished adding all of the big pieces. Then I went in and added all the little pieces as I saw appropriate. So once again, you could leave all of these little pieces out and it looks just stunning the way it is right now, or you can go ahead and fill in the rest of the little gaps. It's completely up to you and it really is your your design. So now I have this gorgeous background and I'm going to set that off to the side as well. I ended up putting together all of the cards at the end of the video so you'll have to stick around for a little while in order to see that. So in order to glue these frames I went along the entire outside of them and then any place where they actually had a nice big area I put some of the adhesive. 
So for this card here, I grabbed a whole bunch of the leftovers. Now, these ones aren't going to line up at all with the embossing powder like the previous cards did. However, I think it looks really cool having this sort of abstract and mosaic pattern. So I decided to go in with those circles. I added a green and a blue one, and I added a pink accent in the middle. And then I'm going to put that pink one right in the middle as well. And I'm just going to leave the center white just for a little added extra effect completely up to you how much or how little you add these pieces, but you can make so many different cards with all the pieces you cut out with the positive and the negative pieces. Now I like to present all sorts of different ideas, so if this is something that stresses you out at doing all of this paper piecing, then it's just not for you, but it's still fun to watch, isn't it? For me, I find things like this calming. I'm going to take these smile and thank you cuts from Catherine Pooler, and I am going to cut them using some black and white cardstock and add them to the fronts of my cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the cards here. I go ahead and I added the thanks and the smile to the front of my card and I'm weighting them down using a block so that they stay adhered because there's a little bit of dimension on them. I love the plainness of these two cards. Then I decided to do something a little more intricate. I grabbed the smile cut and I went ahead with some Versamark ink and I poured some silver embossing powder on the top. And then I went ahead and I melted the embossing powder like I normally would when I'm embossing a sentiment like this. However, I wanted to create a nice thick die. So I went ahead and I actually embossed this three different times. Then I went over it again once it had cooled with some of the Versamark, added the powder again, and then I went ahead and melted it again. And I did this three times and it gave me such a stunning look. It almost looks like a cardboard embellishment when it's all finished. I added a small white strip of cardstock to the front of my panel here so that the cut wouldn't get lost in the background. So I went ahead and added that smile to the front of the card and it looks absolutely stunning. Then I went ahead and I added the thanks as well in white and I glued it on top of the black design and I just moved it slightly off center so that the black sticks out from behind. And then I added that to the front panel as well of this multicolored design. I love the way that that turned out. I went ahead again with the Versamark ink and I inked up my sentiment and I added some of the WOW embossing powder. This is inspired by Catherine Pooler and it is the Wanderlust embossing powder and it is a clear but it also is very sparkly. So I wanted to add that onto my cardstock as well and melt it to see what kind of design that would give me. So I went ahead and added a couple of layers like I did with the silver embossing powder and I melted the final layer here and you can just see how sparkly that is on screen. It's absolutely gorgeous and I love the way that it turns out. It's definitely one of those things though that doesn't photograph as well as I would like so I'm happy you get to see it in the video. And then I just with my Tombow Mono liquid adhesive I went ahead and adhered the thanks on top of the colored panels of the circles. So I just wanted you to be able to take a look at the final results of these cards. So I have the thanks in blue and the smile in pink. And then I have the smile as well with the pink that I used where I only placed it in certain areas, as well as the green in the center with the silver embossing powder. This one here with the multicolors, I ended up going back in to fill in that one pink space that was missing. And then the black with the colors as well, which looks super stunning. I hope you enjoyed today's card video. All the supplies are listed below in the video description if you're interested. And I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. And I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and I hope you get to spend some time in the craft room. Alright, thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great day.